In polynomials, uh, here is an important concept called uh, relation between the coefficients and the zeros of a polynomial. Okay, let us see about such a relation in between these coefficients and the zeros uh, respective to a quality polynomial ax square plus bx plus c and uh, a cubic polynomial p of x equal to ax cube plus bx square plus cx plus d. So here this is a quartic polynomial and this is a cubic polynomial. So here uh, consider the zeros. So let them alpha and beta. So because of degree is 2 there should be 2 zeros. And uh, here zeros. Let them alpha, beta and gamma. And what are the coefficients? So here, the coefficient of x square, the coefficient of x and the constant term. Here the coefficient of x square is a and x is b and the constant term is c. Similarly here, coefficients x cube coefficient, x square coefficient, x coefficient and constant term. So here x cube coefficient is a, next b, next c and finally d. Now what is the relation to be verified here? So here the relation is uh, sum of the zeros and uh, product of the zeros. So here sum of zeros is uh, minus b by a and product of zeros is uh, c by a. So here minus b, b means coefficient of x divided by a, a means coefficient of x square. Similarly their relation. So here the relation is uh, in three ways. One is sum of the coefficients. Next one is uh, sum of the product. Sum of the product in such a way of alpha beta plus beta into gamma plus gamma into alpha. And finally product alpha into beta into gamma. So this is just uh, connected with uh, minus b by a just like here and c by a just in a continuation and finally minus d by e. Okay. So remember these relations. Now in, in according to these two types, here we have two questions. So here the question is about the finding zeros and verifying the relation between the coefficients and the zeros. So here is a quadratic polynomial. So we know how to find the zeros. So first for zeros of this polynomial let p of x equal to 0 then x square minus 2x minus 8 equal to 0 so here according to the comparing with the x square plus bx plus c equal to 0 here what are a b c a is 1 b is minus 2 and c is minus 8 so now let us factorize this left side in order to find the zeros. So for that first calculate a into c. So a into c is 1 into minus 8 that is minus 8. So let us factorize this minus 8 for those sum equal to b. So what is b here? b is minus 2. So so here just by taking 4 to ja, 4 to j ja is 8 and take minus 2 this largest factor 4. Then you will get addition is minus 2. Now continuing. So here x square and minus 2 to be split into two parts that is minus 4x and 2x and continuation with minus 8. Then here from first two terms you will get x as common factor then here x minus 4 and repeat this here x minus 4 and this blank to be filled with a factor from these two. So then already x is here. So 
it is compulsory to take plus 2. Then you will get plus 2x and 2 for the 8 with the minus. Then again, taking minus x minus 4, then you will get x plus 2 equal to 0. So now, separating these two, you will get x minus 4 equal to 0, x plus 2 equal to 0. So finally, x equal to 4 and x equal to minus 2. So here zeros are 4 and minus 2. That means here alpha is 4. Next take alpha equal to 4 and beta equal to. Now let us verify the relation. That is the first one is alpha plus beta. That equal to 4 plus minus 2. That is plus 2. Now observe this. This is minus b by a. Why? Because here b is minus 2 and minus of minus 2 is plus 2 and a is 1. And the second relation alpha into beta that is 4 into minus 2 that is minus a. Now observe this equal to c by a. Here c is minus 8 and a equal to 1. So this is the way to verify the relation. Now observe 